Bertie Brosnan was there and um, going to speak to us on the programme. Bertie, how are you? Hello, hi, I'm doing well, how are you? I mean, a lot of people read this last night and they're thinking, what on earth is this all about? What, what happened? Well, my plan yesterday was, because I'm a TikTok live streamer and social media content creator, so I was doing a Halloween special live stream. I started at Bram Stoker Park and my plan was to go to the planned, so-called planned parade that I found out about a couple of days beforehand. And I looked at the website, I thought it was legit, you know, I, I was duped, obviously. And when I arrived at around 10 past six at the place where I know parades start at Parnell Square, I realized pretty quickly while on the live stream that it wasn't happening. Um, so I ended the live stream and I went for a cup of coffee in Starbucks close by. Came out at seven o'clock and it turned, it, there was a vast amount of people after turning up. So then I started the live stream again because I was in disbelief. Did you break the news to any of them? Did you the heart yeah. to tell anybody this parade so, isn't happening? <laughs> so f when I started the live stream again, I was kind of trying to figure out, okay, did I, is the parade starting from another side? Like, did I miss something, you know? And, but it quickly dawned on me that because Parades usually have barricades, security, police, and some sort of organization. And I could see that there was zero evidence still, just vast amounts of people. So I started talking to a couple of people, like two young lads that were there. And I said, God, and they, they were looking at their phone furiously. And I was like, guys, what? It, it goes, is it on? And I was like, I don't think this is on. I says, I, I, I know how these work. Like, I've seen the protests and parades where they start from a parallel square. There's nothing, there's no evidence of floats or anything like that. So I started realizing pretty quickly. And then someone came up to me because he heard me kind of saying it out loud for the live stream. He goes, there's no parade. And then I knew then, I said, there's no parade. Well, let's bring in Martin uh, Meany, founder yeah. of Goost.ie. It's a, a consumer technology uh, review and advice website. And uh, Martin, you also work in search engine optimization. Yeah. So you were, you were alerted to this and you, you started to do a bit of digging. Just take, take us through then what, what the... the the origin of this was so i guess the, the the funny connection here is i was watching bernie's tiktok live stream and uh this is where i actually learned what was going on and i was looking at the comments and people trying to convince him that there was a parade on and i live in Dublin yeah. city center myself and hadn't heard of anything and so i turned to google and i looked at the website and it was just the amount of ads I saw. It was like, okay, this is a hoax website. It's I look at all the other articles and they're clearly been set up to try and target search queries. So there's a plethora of tools out there that will let marketers know how many people search for queries like Halloween Parade Dublin and how hard it's going to be to rank in Google for flag. And they had taken kind of other content from around the internet to jazz it up some tables about what was going on in Galway and stuff like that nice. as well. Yeah, so this is about ad revenue generating money. The founders of this website, I don't think they were trying to create a blueprint for misinformation or anything like that. I would say they were trying to make a website that ranked in Google and uh, just created some ad revenue off, off ads. I think that's what happened here in this scenario. Well, at the very end, what everybody kind of just shrugged their shoulders and drifted off or what happened? No, absolutely not. That was the scary part of it. I was there for about 50 minutes doing the live stream and I actually was walking around and I was kind of, you know, trying to say it to people every now and again. And some people were looking at me like I had two heads. I said, there's no parade. There's nothing happening. This is a scam. And I, I suppose after a while, I realized, look, there's no real talk. I'm not going to be able to clear this crowd. I didn't see any guardy. And I said, look, I need to get home. I need, I need to get this downloaded and edit some reels. Yeah. yeah. Well, listen, yeah. Um, thanks for speaking to us. I saw someone tweeting today saying you need a braids commission down there. Then you could have went on the website and checked if there was braid on or not. <laughs> not sure that's the solution, but it's a great story.